Hi, day grade 8. Our lesson for today is addition and subtraction of rational algebraic expressions. But before I begin with my lecture, I'd like you to click the subscribe button for you to get updated whenever I upload new lecture videos. So let's perform the indicated operations here. As you can see, the set of algebraic expressions here are similar. So when we say similar, the denominators are the same. So adding and subtracting rational algebraic expressions which are similar is done by first considering the common denominator. So like in number one, the denominator or the common denominator is x squared minus one. And then we will perform the operations on the numerator. So that is x plus 1. Now, this is not yet the final answer since the numerator x plus 1 plus is one of the factors of the denominator. So, what we're going to do is to factor the denominator. So, the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 1 and cancel that common factor. Rewrite the remaining expression as the final answer. So we have 1 all over x plus 1. In number 2, the common denominator is x cubed plus 1. Perform the operations on the numerator. So we have x squared minus x plus 1. This numerator class is one of the factors of this denominator. So let's just rewrite the numerator and factor the denominator and the denominator is the sum of two cubes so the first factor is the cube root of both terms so we have x plus one and then the other factor first term is the square of the first term of the binomial factor so we have x squared while the middle term is the product of the two terms times negative one so we have minus x and the square of the last term is the square of the last term of the binomial factor and then cancel the common factor. So rewrite the remaining expression as the final answer. There. Number three, copy the common denominator. So we have 2x squared plus 11x plus 5. And then perform the operations on the numerator. So we have 2x squared minus x minus 1. And then factor the numerator and the denominator so the factors of the numerator are 2x plus 1 and x minus 1 while the factors of the denominator are x plus 5 and 2x plus 1 and then cancel the common factor then rewrite the remaining expression as the final answer so this is our final answer. For number four, the common denominator is 5x plus 1. And perform the operation on the numerator. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 2 minus x squared plus x minus x plus 1. Okay. So let us simplify the numerator. So we have x squared plus 7x plus 2 minus x squared minus x minus x minus 1. So we have x squared minus x squared is 0. And then 7x minus x minus x is 5x. While 2 minus 1 is 1. All over the denominator 5x plus 1. So everything is cancelled here. The answer must be equal to 1. For number 5, the common denominator is x squared minus 36. Let's perform the operation on the numerator. So we have 2x squared plus 10x plus 3 minus quantity x squared plus 6x plus 5 plus x minus 4. And then simplify, we have 2x squared here, 
plus 10x plus 3 minus x squared minus 6x plus rather minus 5. Okay. Minus 5. Then plus x minus 4. So we have 2x squared minus x squared is x squared. And then 10x minus 6x plus x is 5x. And then 3 minus 9 is negative 6 all over x squared minus 36. So we have factors for the numerator are x plus 1. And then the other one is, or if this is x minus 1, so this should be x plus 6. So that the middle term will be 5x. And then the factors of x squared minus 36 are x plus 6 and x minus 6. So cancel the common factors. We have x minus 1 all over x minus 6 as the final answer. So in adding and subtracting similar rational algebraic expressions, we will just copy the common denominator and perform the operations on the numerator. In the event that the two, I mean the numerator and the denominator have common factors, so we have to cancel out the common factor and rewrite the remaining expression as the final answer. Now, the next exercises here is addition and subtraction of similar or dissimilar radical uh, rather dissimilar rational algebraic expressions and i summarize the steps here for us to be guided so the first thing that we're going to do is to factor all the denominators and we will be able to find the lcd if we work on the factors of each denominator like in the case of number six the factors are x plus one and x plus three And then the second denominator, the factors are x plus 1 and x minus 5. So working on the LCD is working on the factors of this denominator. Like the factors of the first denominator are x plus 1 and x plus 3. Well, the factors of the second denominator are x plus 1 and x minus 5. So the LCD will be three binomial factors such as x plus 1, x plus 3, and x minus 5. And then, we're going to rename each fraction using this LCD class. So we have x plus 1, x plus 3, x minus 5. So how do we rename? We divide the LCD by the first denominator. And there remains x minus 5. And this x minus 5 will be multiplied to the first numerator. So we have x quantity x minus 5. And then LCD divided by the second denominator. So there remains x plus 3 times the numerator. So this is minus 3 quantity x plus 3. And then simplify the numerator. So we have x squared minus 5x minus 3x minus 9. And this is equal to x squared minus 8x minus 9 all over the LCD x plus 1, x plus 3, and x minus 5. Now we will check if each of these binomial factors is one of the factors of this trinomial, quadratic trinomial. So if, for instance, x plus 1 is one of the factors, the other factor should be x minus 9. And it has to match with the middle term, negative 8x. And this matches negative 8x. So we consider the two here as the factors of the numerator. And then all over the LCD, And then cancel the common factors. 
So this is equal to x minus 9 all over the product of x plus 3 and x minus 5. There. Now for number 7, we can say that the LCD is the second denominator because the factors of this are x plus 3 and x minus 4. Okay, so renaming H R A E here is done by first writing the LCD, which will be the new denominator. And we will divide the LCD by each of these denominators. So we have LCD divided by x plus 3. There remains x minus 4 times x. So we have And then LCD divided by the second denominator, we have x plus 3 times 3. Since we have made use of this class as the LCD, we will no longer rename the third RAE. Instead, we will just copy the numerator as is. So this is plus 8x minus 11. And then let's simplify. So this is x squared minus 4x minus 3x minus 9 plus 8x minus 11 and we have x squared so negative 4x and negative 3x is negative 7x plus 8x so this is um plus x and then we have minus 20 all over the denominator x plus 3 times x minus 4. Now class, the, the numerator is, is still factorable. In fact, the factors are x minus 4 and x plus 5. All over the LCD, x plus 3, x minus 4. So we will cancel the common factor and the answer here will be the remaining expression x plus 5 all over x plus 3. There. So we still have two more here. Now take note that um, the third denominator is 6x squared plus 5x minus 4. So we can say that the LCD is the third denominator since the factors of the third denominator are 2x minus 1 and 3x plus 4. So renaming HRAE here using the LCD. So when we divide the LCD by the first denominator, so we have 3x plus 4 times x plus 1. So we have quantity x plus 1 times 3x plus 4 here. And then LCD divided by 3x plus 4, there remains 2x minus 1 times 2x. And then we will copy as is the numerator, the third numerator, since we have made use of the third denominator as the LCD. And then we will combine like terms here. So we have 3x squared plus 7x plus 4 minus 4x squared plus 2x here plus 4x minus 11x minus 12. So combining like terms here, we have negative 4x squared. This is 4x squared. So negative 4x squared plus 4x squared is 0. And then there remains 3x squared. Now 7x plus 2x is 9x minus 11x. So we have minus 2x here. And then 4 minus 12 is negative 8. And this is all over the LCD. 2x minus 1 quantity 3x plus 4. Now the numerator is still factorable. In fact, the factors are 3x plus 4 and x minus 2. 
all over the LCD, 2x minus 1, 3x plus 4. And cancel the common factor. So the answer for number 8 is the remaining expression, which is x minus 2 all over 2x minus 1. There. Now in number 9, the LCD is the third denominator since the factors of the third denominator are x plus 1 and x minus 1. So renaming HRAE here is done by first writing the LCD on the denominator and then LCD divided by the first denominator. There remains x minus 1 times 5x. So we have 5x times x minus 1. And then LCD divided by the second denominator. So we have x plus 1 times x. And copy the third numerator as is. Since we have made use of this as, we have made use of its denominator as the LCD. And then simplify. So we have 5x squared minus 5x minus x squared minus x minus 4x squared plus 4x. So 5x squared minus x squared is 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. And then we have negative 5x and negative x, negative 6x plus 4x, we have negative 2x all over the LCD x plus 1 times x minus 1. So this is considered as the final answer for number 9. So adding and subtracting the similar rational algebraic expressions is done first by factoring the denominators to determine the LCD and then rename each fraction using the LCD, perform the operations on the numerator, place the result over the LCD, and if there's a need to simplify, so you have to simplify your answer. So that's how to add and subtract rational algebraic expressions. So bye for now, grade 8.